Now that the Minnesota Fighting Vikings have unofficially hired Kevin O'Connell as their new head coach, a lot of the praise and plaudits are coming in for the Vikings making such a visionary hire. One of those dropping some praise bombs is Joe Theismann, a legendary Washington football team quarterback from back in the day. Well, commanders now. Whatever the hell you're calling your, your team uh, this week. Uh, of course, he had some crossover with Kevin O'Connell when O'Connell was on the coaching staff there for three seasons, including one as OC. And Theismann, uh, so Theismann, for our younger viewers, uh, it's out of their age range. Actually, Theismann's out of my age range, too. But, yeah, he, he was a great quarterback back in the day, won a Super Bowl with Washington. Actually, Joe Gibbs doesn't get the praise that he deserves. He won a uh, Super Bowl with three different quarterbacks, uh, Theismann, Doug Williams, and Mark Rippon. That's kind of crazy, right? But Theismann, he was a dude back in the day. And when he was at Notre Dame, I may be making this up, but I think his name was originally pronounced Theismann, you know, Joe Theismann. But as some sort of marketing campaign to get him the Heisman, they changed the pronunciation of his name to Joe Theismann. And then he just ran with it. I don't know if that's true. I may have just made that up right now. Although it, it makes too much sense. Anyway, he initially played in the CFL uh, before he got to the NFL. He played for the Toronto Argonauts, even though this is Blue Bomber territory. Son, never forget it. And, of course, his career ended with Lawrence Taylor. Yeah, it's rough, man. Uh, but then after football, became an announcer, worked Monday Night Football for a while, and is still on inside the NFL on Showtime. Danny Woodcock clip. Look that up. Yeah, it, it's great. And Theismann had some great things to say about Kevin O'Connell. I uh, wanted to get to a couple of the quotes. Uh, th- this first one, he was talking with Doogie, KSTP Sports. And when asked about Kevin O'Connell, uh, quote, I was excited for Kevin. We had a relationship when he was in Washington, D.C. Uh, you look at the pedigree. Played behind Tom Brady for a little while. Doesn't even mention Belichick. Belichick drafted him, but no. I worked with Sean McVay, worked with Jake Gruden, worked with Bill Callahan, so he has experience working with coaches in different elements of the game. Bill's a very run-oriented individual. Jay likes to throw the ball around. Sean likes to be very creative. So if you look at the different elements he's been exposed to, I think you have someone who has a very broad view of the game and can adapt to whatever personnel he has to work with. And that's one of the things I've fired up about, where it certainly has seemed offensively over the last couple of years, well, the last eight years, I'm just throwing out uh, a random number out there, especially on offense where you, they've been trying to jam players into scheme, 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 right? So whether that's outside zone scheme, running the ball, etc., wide receivers, you, you have to run the full route tree X, Y, Z. It's like why Cordero didn't get the time of day under Norv and Zimmer. And now you look at him in Atlanta. That it's how the Vikings should have been using him the, his entire career. You look at Justin Jefferson, not even getting on the field the first two games or essentially not getting on the field the first two games of his career where hey the great coaches cater their scheme to their players they, you look around what do we have that's great and when uh, O'Connell's going to come into the Vikings I mean sure he may want to run 11 personnel a ton just like they do with the Rams but say the Vikings re-sign Gronklin and you have Gronklin and Irv Smith that makes sense to run two tight ends a lot like the Vikings have had for the last couple of years you have CJ Ham, one of the best fullbacks in the league if not the best so it doesn't really make sense to completely full go on 11 personnel that's why I think it will be a gradual transition but Looking at Justin Franklin Jefferson, you have a guy that you need to get the ball. Thielen is a red zone assassin, as opposed to just trying to fit guys into a scheme. Well, this is what we did with the Rams. I don't think O'Connell is going to be like that. And you look at the different schemes that he's worked with in Washington, uh, in Cleveland for that one year with Johnny Manziel. <laughs> funny man uh, it's good times and so and a couple more from chris thomason joe theisman who knows kevin o'connell well from washington 2017 2019 he understands what he wants to do with an offense he's an excellent choice to be a head coach he's ready to be a head coach uh, i love to pick kevin's brain i've always found kevin to be very creative and he will look at the personnel he has and will adjust his offense accordingly which uh, again is a major plus for kevin o'connell plus you know, with theisman he is a guy who does speak his mind like he's not gonna be around the bush plus he really has nothing to gain. Like, say Kevin O'Connell was a complete turd in the punch bowl. Why would Theisman risk some of his uh, reputational capital? Be like, yeah, oh, yeah, it's going to be really good. And then he turns into a walking disaster. So, no. Uh, so, Theisman, even though, yes, he does know Kevin O'Connell, like, if you can be good friends with Kevin O'Connell and not have to speak up for them in, in public once they get a good job, you could be like, uh, we'll do fine. We'll do fine. But no, Theismann is glowing. He is completely backing up Kevin O'Connell, and, and I like that. And yeah, thinking about it, just thinking about the media, just thinking about pundits, thinking about people who have crossed over with Kevin O'Connell, former players, current players, we haven't heard one negative thing about the Vikings hiring Kevin O'Connell outside 
of the fans, which I, I understand it. You know, we're in the process. You have favorites. I love me D'Amico Ryans. I, I would have understood Jim Harbaugh. I was fully all in on that. But the Vikings decided, hey, Kevin O'Connell is going to be the man to lead this team, not Jim Harbaugh. And if the Vikings would have offered Harbaugh the job, he would have taken it. Not D'Amico Ryans. I think if they wanted Ryans, he would have come back for the second round of interviews. So it is what it is. And, and yes, I understand. It could be the Harbaugh factor where so many fans were just emotionally built up. It's like, Jimmy H is coming here. But at the end of the day, if you told us at the beginning of the head coaching search, before any names were even interviewed, if you could have a young, offensive-minded guy who's going to be highly adaptable to the talent, get Justin Jefferson the ball, you would take it. You would take it. I, like a, Anyone could buy a stock when it's $100 a share. Can you buy that stock when it's $20 a share? And, and I understand. Kevin DeConnell, oh, he's never called plays before. He's never done this. He's never done that. Well, there's drawbacks on, on all of the uh, coaching candidates, but O'Connell, I think you're betting on potential. He has a chance to be great. It's like the Rams who took a shot on Sean McVay a couple years ago when he was like six years old. It's like the greasy grime and Green Bay Packers and the 12-year-old boy. It's like the Bengals and Zach Taylor, who is another Sean McVay assistant who never called plays, by the way. It seemed to work out, but yeah, I'm all in on Kevin O'Connell. Got to have faith. Got to root for the purple. Bottom line... They figure out the quarterback position, whether it's Cousins, whether it's QB uh, of the future, TBD. Maybe he uh, develops them both. Huh? Maybe he ups Cousins' game for a season, maybe two, and maybe the Vikings land themselves a future franchise quarterback that works hand in glove for the next decade, decade and a half plus with Kevin O'Connell as Justin Jefferson just gets the ball all the entire time. I love it. I love it, man. Uh, but your thoughts are our thoughts. Joe Theismann backing up, raving about Kevin O'Connell. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.